Hello scientists, I will show you how to draw ribosomes in PowerPoint. Yes, you can use PowerPoint to draw very professional scientific figures. So let's go to the home tab and grab the ellipse tool and draw an ellipse like this. And then open the shape fill tab and click on more color. And I will select a lighter orange like this one. And then I'll set the color for the outline. Uh, I'll mix a darker orange for the stroke color. To make a shadow, I will make two copies of the ellipse. And then I will select both of them and come up here to the shape format tab. And here's a tab called merge shape. Open it and click subtract. Then you can get this croissant shape, then give it a dark red fill and then place it on top of the ellipse and adjust the transparency to about 20%. Let me group these objects and then scale it down. I'll make a copy of it and then make it smaller. So this will be the small subunit of the ribosome. Then I bring the big subunit to the front. Now I will make a very small ellipse on the big subunit and I will give it a dark red and then remove the outline. So this is the location where the polypeptide chain comes out. Okay, we need another shadow between the big and small subunits. I'll make two copies of the big subunits and then I'll make a subtraction of the lower part of the subunit. Place it right underneath the big subunit. Make a copy of the small subunit and bring it to the front. We need to make an intersect of the new shape with the small subunit. So we can crop it to the exact size that we need it to be. And then we select this shape and the button shadow and then come to the merge shapes to unite these two shapes. We need to smoothen this corner a little bit. So right click on the shadow and then click on edit points. Then you'll see all these anchor points. Then you can manipulate the anchor points to smoothen the shape of the shadow. Now we will create the polypeptide. So let's grab our curve tool and just draw a squiggly line like this. Once you're done, press enter and then you can adjust the thickness and the color of the stroke as you please. And this is a ribosome. This is part of my scientific illustration live stream. I live stream on Twitch every Sunday. So come hang out with me. Comment below the topics you would like to see and I'll put it in a poll in the community tab. And every Friday, you guys can vote for it. I save all the recordings of my live stream in my YouTube membership page and in my Patreon. So you can check out the archive over there. I hope this video shows you that you can use PowerPoint to draw very professional looking scientific illustration figures that look like the style of Nature Review. So don't don't worry too much if you don't have fancy softwares like Adobe Illustrator, you can definitely use PowerPoint in this case. Give a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video.